I think what's exciting about my about my paintings and my practice is deconstruction and reconstruction. And the bag is thought of similarly. I looked at the Louis Vuitton logo and I deconstructed the various elements and rebuilt those elements with um, a varied array of fabrics and textiles. So you have to imagine how the viewer would see the bag in three dimensions because the bag opposed to a painting is not going to be on the wall. So someone will be using this in, in three-dimensional space. So you have to anticipate the viewer looking at the bag from different angles. So that was a little bit of a challenge for me. Um, but I thought, I tried to think about the bag more as a sculpture. When I was asked to participate in the collaboration for the Capucin bag, uh, what I endeavored in doing was to focus on the motif I have. The, is it called the Fleur de Lille? It was to make an acknowledgement to the fact that with most ideas, most things we do, whether it's art or architectural design, the ideas always have their direction of growing that they always assume. It's in spite of whatever objective you as a creator of the idea that you might be holding, but the idea itself always find a way of of, of, of taking itself onto another direction, thus guiding you as a person who's conceptualized the idea. And I decided I wanted to try to recreate the sort of overlapping in textures in a certain couple paintings. And we tried to replicate like the underpainting and the overpainting with uh, like staining the leather underneath and then sewing on top to like express the details. The little keychain, I made like a series of works of like drawing through my phone on the kids like FaceTime and I would draw and they would guess what it is. So it was just like a doodle I'd made for my kids. As it's a collaboration, it's really about bringing two worlds together. And I knew that if I wanted to take the viewer or the customer out of the world of the capucine that they already know, I would have to change the silhouette of the bag. So I decided to add these surfboard fins to the top. And uh, what I love about them is that one of them is a mirror and the other one is a comb. So they're actually functional, uh, a functional part of the, of the piece. It, it was important for me to sort of bring the, this kind of vibe, this California vibe into the bag. And so I think, you know, the ultimate goal was for the bag to really emit good vibrations. Why make a bag as an artist? Well, the act of having a special bag is that you parade your bag. The fruits, we, we can say many things about fruits. I mean, fruits are in some way uh, part of the reproductive process of, of nature. And as we know, like our mother's bags were like very interesting when you were a child. It's like a, a little mystery. So in a way, these bags that are carried around as like little secrets. And instead of decorating this little secret, I wanted to add a little something. So when you carry it, you have to take care of it, you know? 